Hey everybody, so in this video we're going to be adding and subtracting rational expressions. So, remember that anytime you're going to subtract fractions like these, you have to have common denominators. Now, we can look here and tell that this denominator is already very different than this denominator. So, what we want to do is we want to factor this denominator to see what it's missing. Or to see what, excuse me, rather to see what it has in addition to the x minus 4. So here, if we factor, we get x minus 4 and x minus 2. So this fraction has the x minus 4, but it's missing the x minus 2. So what we'll do is we'll multiply the numerator by x minus 2. So here, I'll draw this out. This is going to be x minus 1 times x minus 2. And remember, whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. So on the bottom, this will be x minus 4 times x minus 2. Now you'll notice that my denominators are the same. So here I'll say minus, and that is negative 4x plus 22, this will be all over x minus 4 and x minus 2. Okay, now I have denominators that are the same. Since my denominators are the same, I can write the numerator as one fraction. So I'll do that here. So I'll bring this down and I'll write all this out as one fraction. So that's going to be x minus 1, x minus 2. Now here you have minus negative 4x. So that's going to make it plus 4x. And then I have minus this 22. So that'll make this minus 22. And on the bottom I have x minus 4 and x minus 2. Now that this is one fraction, we can cross out like binomials. So this x minus 2 and this x minus 2 can cancel out. All right, so that is actually not true at all. So shout out to my brother, Corey Phillips, also a math teacher, who watched this video and corrected this mistake. So what I just did, how I canceled out these binomials, this is not okay. You cannot do this whatsoever because in your numerator, what you have is an addition problem right here. So you cannot cross out these x minus 2s. So we're going to need to undo that like so. And in order to solve, what we're going to have to do is we're going to multiply this x minus 1 and this x minus 2 together and then combine our like terms with 4x and negative 22. So let's do that. So x times x is going to give us x squared. Uh, that's going to wind up being negative 3x plus 2 plus 4x minus 22. We'll come down and put this all over x minus 4 and x minus 2. Now, when we combine like terms, we're going to have, we'll write this over here on the left. We're going to have x squared negative 3x plus 4x is just going to give us x. And then positive 2 and negative 22 is going to give us negative 20. So this will now all be over x minus 4, x minus 2. Now what we'll need to do is to factor this numerator. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give me negative 20. And when I combine them, I get positive 1. And that's going to be positive 5 and negative 4. So here I can say x plus 5, x minus 4. And this will all be over x minus 4, x minus 2. Now I can cross out my like binomials. And the solution to this problem will be x plus 5, all over 
x minus 2. All right, that's going to be all for this example. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.